Celtics family, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Bleed Green Film Room, where we're going to be breaking down Drew Holiday today. Now, Drew Holiday is coming off a very big game versus the Raptors. 22 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists was overall, you know, amazing for us in a game where it, it seemed like the Celtics never got their feet underneath them. It was very clunky offensively, couldn't get into rhythm, and were trying to fight for momentum throughout the entirety of the game. However, did come out with the win, 105-96. to But in this video, I want to break down some film here on Drew Holiday to show you guys why you know he needs to start getting some more respect, not only from the media, but us as Celtics fans need to understand, you know, yes, maybe he's not having the best year in terms of defense, maybe he's not the best offensive player in the world, but understand he is still one of the most valuable players on this team and on this play specifically we're going to get a little bit of fast break four on four uh, but what I want to show you guys here is how well the Celtics spread the floor fill the lane and make sure we clear out the paint for Jason Tatum not only does this suffocate three guys in here on Jason because he can finish over quite frankly anybody but it also allows the corners to be open right so Tatum drives into the paint. You got one, two, three guys looking at him, right? Kicks out to Drew Holiday. And this is the thing I love about Drew Holiday, guys, is yes, he might not be a guy who, who's averaging 20 points a game, but quite frankly, we don't need him to do that. And I'll tell you why. You have Jalen Brown, you have Jason Tatum, you have Derek White, and you have Chris Dallas Porzingis. However, with the night where, you know, JB doesn't play, we need Drew Holiday to come up big, and that's exactly what he did. 22 points, led the team, him and Derek White had a great game, but he also shot 4 of 6 from downtown. Guys, this is the reason Drew Holiday is becoming, you know, one of the biggest factors on this team. Because he can shoot the 3 ball, he's actually one of the best 3 point shooters on our team right now at 39%, and it's only going to get better, probably going to move up to that 40% mark. Listen. Make sure you guys, before we jump in the video, do me a big favor, hit that like button, let's see if we can get the video up to 75 likes, but also, subscribe to the channel if you're new, it is free, you don't have to pay anything, and we're going to be breaking down the Celtics all year long, including going live every single Celtics game on the on this channel. So if you guys want to watch these Celtics games with me, react to it live with me, make sure you guys join the family and get ready because we're going to be live every single game from here on out starting tomorrow night versus the Spurs and then Friday versus the Nuggets. I'll see you guys there. But without any further ado, let's jump right back into uh, some more film. All right, here's another solid play here by Drew Holiday. What we're going to get is he's going to drive right into the middle of the paint. But what we see here is a help defense by Emmanuel quickly. Now, what this does is leave the corners wide open. Obviously, Al Horford breaks into the corner, and then you have Derek White. I think Drew Holiday does a good job. You see how he's looking at the basket, kind of like a no-look pass. Beautiful, just slightly forces Emmanuel quickly to take one extra moment to make sure he's not going up for a layup. Kicks it out to Derek White. Derek White, wide open three. Started off this game, I believe, 4-5 or five from downtown. It was amazing as well. I wanted to break down him in this video, but uh, I guess we're going to kind of break down both of them because some of these passes are from Drew Holiday. But again, this is what you want to see out of Drew. Earlier in the game, we saw him drive in the paint. Um, you know, draw contact, get to the free throw line a little bit. I think he does a good job here with that no look pass again. You see this a lot in football with quarterbacks, but if you do in the NBA, it does the same thing. It forces this guy to, you know, take one extra second in the paint, delaying his closeout, allowing Derek White to shoot. And this is what makes it sell so versatile because look at the floor right now, guys, right? You have someone who drives in who can shoot. Al Horford can shoot. Porzingis can shoot. Tatum can shoot. Derek White can shoot. Just imagine or just think about it. And then Jalen Brown is not even playing this game. The versatility of this unit is unbelievable, man. Shout out to Brad Stevens. This team is going to go places, man. Hopefully this season. All right, here we go. Right now we see Drew Holiday with the ball top left key. But what we want to see here is Porzingis. Porzingis last season was one of the best, if not the best post scorers in the NBA. So what that tells me right now, especially against a young center, uh, John T. Porter, I believe it is, you have to double team. You have to send another body at him to make sure he doesn't get a wide open mid range. Because quite frankly, this man Porzingis can shoot over anyone. So what that does, and watch how Drew Holiday rotates to the center of the key while Derek White is going to clear out. This is perfect, guys. This is great execution. So again, Drew Holiday starting to rotate over. Emmanuel quickly going to send that double team. Porzingis kicks out. Now, boom. 
What we have here is a closeout by RJ Barrett with no rotation here by Siakam. Now, what we can get here is one of two things, an open three for Drew Holiday or an open three for Jason Tatum. Now, Drew Holiday was feeling it this game. I don't mind this shot at all. You know, when he's not feeling it, I guarantee you he makes the extra pass to Tatum for an open three. And then if you get this rotation by Dennis Schroeder, kicked out to Derek White, you got the screen back door uh, here by Al Horford that would prevent uh, Siakam to closing out over there. So either way, you have so many different options here on this floor of shooting the ball, but either way, they end with the three. Another great drawn up play there by the Celtics offense. All right, watch the entirety of this play. We're going to start by getting a screen here by Drew Holiday. What this does is put the defense in a little bit of a scramble here. So if you're a Raptors fan, you never want to see Tatum isolating versus, uh, you know, Emmanuel quickly here. So what they end up doing is sending Siakam back on a double team, okay? And now that leaves Drew Holiday wide open. Nobody's covering him. And then it sends Emmanuel quickly into a spiral like, okay, where am I supposed to be? So boom, he starts communicating. This guy over here in the left corner is like, okay, maybe I should go cover him because he's wide open so boom he rotates down he rotates back to drew now you've got a double team on drew but something that was so goes so unnoticed here is again we mentioned it earlier but his ability to do no look passes is huge so again watch how he looks at chris Stapps here so he's looking at chris Stapps, passes to the corner and gets an open look at this point there's no closing out because Derek White's such a good shooter. You know, all we want is this open look. We'll take this 99.9 .9 times out of 100. However, that's not it. So Derek White ends up missing the shot. But look at the effort. Look at the awareness of Drew Holiday to be like, listen, we're getting an open three, but who's to say he's going to hit it? So not only does he, you know, cut in, but so is Porzingis. He gets in there, Drew. They tip it up in the air. He ends up getting the offensive rebound, putting it back up and gets it to go guys this is amazing this is what we need to see not only does he get a good screen he gets open no look past the corner open three hustles into the paint gets the offense rebound and puts it up second chance opportunities is what helps teams win basketball games and with drew here we've been doing it a lot man we've been doing it a lot all right another great play play here by boston drew holiday is gonna cut around around the perimeter right we're also going to get a driving Derek White now what this does is force Dennis Schroeder to look at the ball and be like okay I got to stop this drive so he stops his body and now we have nobody on Drew because in this situation you're supposed to send Dennis Schroeder on Derek White but also have Emmanuel quickly realize that he needs to bounce back to the outside and cover Drew Holiday so boom now we got a, a weird little double team here I wish Chris Stapps did a little bit better of a job here sending this pin down screen to get an open look here by Drew Holiday however looks like maybe even should have been a little bit of a foul bad pass gets it over to Drew but this is what told me about six minutes left in the game we're up by six um, but this shot right here by Drew Holiday was basically the uh you know, one of the end points. Now, I know they did make a, a little bit of a comeback here late in the game, but that was a huge shot by Drew just to uh, you slightly tap the nail in a little bit more. But the fact that he, even as a small guard, can shoot over guys like Emmanuel quickly is so big. I mean, shot clock was at 13. I, I you know, don't love the shot, but the fact that it went in, man, love to see it happen, man. Love to see it. And again, you talk about a big reason we were able to close this game out at the end. It's because of Drew Holiday. Hit that big shot here. Now we've got a three-on-two fast break. Tatum versus, or Tatum, Drew, and Chris Stavs versus Scotty Barnes and Dennis Schroeder. I think Jace Tatum does a good job. I think he could have drove into the paint a little bit more here. Ends up turning around again. Kicks out to Drew Holiday. I want to see him maybe box out. But the fact that he got to the corner made Dennis Schroeder a little bit indecisive here. Do I want to cover Tatum? Do I want to cover Drew? What do I do? But Drew Holiday's like, you know what? I don't care what you do. I'm going to shoot over you no matter what. Schroeder doesn't even want to jump. Throws up the shot. Gets it to go. Listen. Drew Holiday had a massive game, and we don't win without him. Like I said, the man had 22 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 blocks, a steal, only 1 turnover. Man, Drew Holiday was a big factor. I think we need to start giving him some more credit going forward. Um, I think the Celtics have been really, really good as of late. Um, you know, not only shooting their three balls, but also getting to the free throw line, uh, creating pressure on the other team to play defense in the paint. I do think there was an area of this game, or for the majority of this game, I thought we should attack the paint a little bit more than we did. But I thought, you know, listen, we're not going to win every game. 
Uh, and the fact that we won this game fighting against that momentum and trying to build that momentum, couldn't really find it for most of this game, we still end up winning, which is huge, man. So definitely a big W. Comment down below a letter grade here for Drew Holiday in this game. Like I said, at a big one, a main reason we won this game. And hopefully tomorrow night versus uh, the Spurs, we can come out here and dominate a little bit more, get some rest before we go on and take on the Denver Nuggets. But also comment down below, are the Celtics going to be, uh, what, 20 20 you know at home 21 you know at home i don't know man it's gonna be tough but let me know what you guys think and uh comment down below the the number zero if you made it all the way to the end of the video just want to see how many of you guys stayed to the end and i'll see you guys in the next one peace